He's got to be thinking. They've got to break Fire. some of these Five, service one. situations here and not just split points. Now, if Rebite can come in fresh and duplicate his first game form. Oh, that's a big point there. Six, four, Everyone's going to be a big point here for Chicago. Oh, he had the, Pinto had the ball that he wanted. Great deep serve. I could see this going a sweep in either direction. Asahara again, just quick, too quick. Full swings on anything short but high. And that's where Provost excels, changing the tempo, mixing it up, never giving the same ball twice. Kasahara was ready for every different potential outcome there. And Provost gave him a mix with both a block, a backhand re-loop, and then tried one more loop from the backcourt. Seven, four. Hiramitsu Kasahara again, pushing himself into that leadership role for the Texas Smash. A oh, great placement four, by Provost after eight. the deep serve right down the middle of the table. And here, these players went to the golden point in the third game. Big Four, shot by Dan Liu. Nine. Committing to stepping around that ball, getting the wide angle. I think for Darrell, when you're playing against the pen holder, it's so risky to play four. a long ball to the backhand corner, and that's... If they're going to step around, you're giving them two direct pathways. This set of four points is huge for Chicago. And Dan Liu looking to sweep, four. which again with a 5-0 to zero lead, any sweep draws you so close to that final point. Definitely be the part that makes a difference. He does get a sweep, four points. I mean, that's that's MVP material right there. Sweep in singles and sweep in the golden game. Now here's some big hitters right here. David Macbeth. Against Kazuku. Coach York actually walking 13. across to Daryl. You can see in the background just to give him some reassurance. He knows this is a mental game in the in the golden game. Always doing his best to keep 13. his players in the zone. You see him in the hotel between matches, before matches, after matches, taking the players aside one by one, having conversations with him, talking tactics, mentality, attitudes. Just wants to let 14. the players know they're not alone and that it's not just one match that matters, but it's really a chance to grow from each of these team matches. And there's the power of Kazaku. Five, Serve 15. and bullet, and now we've got the ladies out. And the firepower from both of these women. Emily Wong pips on the forehand, wanting to smash. Emily Tan looking for a forehand opportunity to drive the ball. Five, sixteen. Net five, sixteen.
Tan gets an all-important point five. here. Big celebration. Five. I just love her dance after every point. This would be huge for Chicago win if Emily Tan can finish the task here. Five. What a run 19. from Emily Tan. Just full of energy. What a serve. 19. Reverse pendulum back court to deep. An ace cross court. Rabate continuing where he Seven. left off in the first game of the singles match between these two. Pinto trying to do what he was successful in games two and three, and now Seven. Chicago win match point to win 16 to five. And they get it. Daniele Pinto finishes the job. It's the Chicago win that win the golden game. It's, it's been such an elusive result for them. They were three from eight, uh, three from 11 in golden games coming into this weekend. And they let the wind roar and let the players roar. The Chicago wind earned this victory here.